Alright, well, I had the day off from school today because of weather, so I've been messing around with electronics. And if you've seen my turntable project, you know how much I like this library, because it makes it really easy to connect custom Arduino stuff to JMRI, because you can just use it like a CMRI system. So, the trick with this is that if you want to use more than one Arduino, like say if you want to have one Arduino for your turntable and one for your shop lights, which is my situation, you have to do some really fancy stuff because JMRI won't let you add another Arduino as a separate CMRI connection. You can't just connect them both via USB and do it that way. I thought you could, but I was disappointed to find out that no, you can't. You have to connect them together and have one connection to JMRI and have both the Arduinos talk to each other. And the way that you do that is with RS-485. And this was already mostly implemented with this library, so kudos to the author for that. But when I got my RS-485 transceiver chips, which are called MAX-485s, when I got these focus when I got these and I started fiddling with them, I was disappointed to find out that no matter how hardly and carefully I followed the wiring diagram, it did not behave, it did not want to talk with JMRI. And I thought, for the better part of today, that it was because I wasn't doing this breadboard circuit correctly, but I found out that it's actually because in the version of the, li of the Auto 485 library, that's on GitHub right now. Um, he has not implemented all of the print line functions correctly, so there's some issues. And poking around with the oscilloscope here, I found out that for whatever reason, it was not setting this pin here on the chip, which changes it from transmit to receive mode. It wasn't setting that back to low when it was done transmitting. So you transmit something and it would be stuck in transmit mode until you did a weird thing and manually set this pin back to low so it would go back into receive mode. And that's not really good because that means that you have to do all this craziness. So I got to looking around in the library, which is called Auto 485, also written by this same guy, and he just hadn't implemented all the versions of the print line function. He had implemented the version that doesn't take any parameters, so if you use that version and just print an empty line, it worked fine. But if you try to print a string, it uses the unmodified serial.println function, and it doesn't set this pin to the correct state when it's done. So I had to add new versions to override the parent versions of those functions, but I did, and I made a pull request. So now it works and if I go to my JMRI system I can turn this LED on and off by throwing a CMRI turnout. Now you might be thinking why does this matter? I've seen demos like this before from the author of the library. Well this uses RS-485. This is not a normal USB cable. This is an RS-485 bus so while I've only got one Arduino on here right now since this is an RS-485 bus, I can add as many as I want, which is awesome. So later on, I'm going to add this one, and then I'm going to be able to run just two wires, like thermostat wire or something, between a bunch of Arduinos and control all the Arduino stuff on the layout from one CMRI connection, and JMRI will never even know the difference. So yeah, it's awesome.